let us consider for a moment something like A minor, uh, a quality key. Uh, I guess that sounds A minor enough, doesn't it? Uh, so, I think the obvious stuff to play over that is, of course, like the A minor pentatonic framework. And um, I've met a lot of students over the years who would come to me knowing how to blow and they say show me modes I say, okay here are some modes and then they they come back for another lesson having absorbed the modes for a while and all of their phrasing has just evaporated and the, the student who came to me for their first lesson doing this stuff you know, okay. comes back triumphant and clearly pleased with himself and says, check out, check out what I can do now. It's like, why? Um, because I think there's the danger with modes, if you're coming from that kind of bluesy starting point, is that you put too much faith in the mode and expect it to solve problems for you, which it was not invented to solve. Uh, it's not enough just to learn all the notes from lowest to highest or from highest to lowest and then regurgitate them because that makes no musical sense. I think whenever you learn a new piece of theory, whenever you learn a new scale, part of your challenge is to make it sound as natural as the stuff that you know really well. 